welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. This video is going to be a what I wore in a week slash spend the week with me. Some of you guys have commented on recent what I wore videos asking to show a little bit more of day to day and what I'm doing and where I'm wearing these outfits to and what we're getting up to. So I absolutely want to share that with you guys. If I'm honest, I didn't know if my vlog content was that enjoyable or watchable. So I mainly focus on fashion styling videos because I feel like that's what I'm good at and that's what I know. But I absolutely want to take you guys along with me with the day-to-day -day stuff as well. I love watching YouTube videos where some of my favorite content creators are at home, going to work, just their casual everyday life and being taken along on that. So I'm going to share more in this vlog. It's Saturday and it's around 5 p.m. I'm just about to film a fashion reel, which sounds mad because it's 5 p.m. on a Saturday, but I've been traveling a lot this month. So the beginning of the month, I was in Marrakesh with New Look, which was such an incredible trip. And then last week, well, this week, I was in Switzerland visiting Clinic La Prairie. And tomorrow, me and Ryan are going to Florence to go and see our wedding venue one last time and do the tasting for the wedding day food and menu. So today, it's kind of my only day to film and get some content that isn't content when I'm away. I also did just have a coffee to give me some extra energy. I know not such a good idea. I don't usually have coffee after 2 p.m. but I feel like I needed an extra little boost. So let's film this reel and then I'm going to unpack my case from Switzerland and repack for Florence which should be quite easy because we're only going for two and a half days and I sort of know what I'm wearing. I've actually just been trying on my airport outfit that I'm going to wear tomorrow morning as we have to leave super super early so let me show you guys. I feel like I've nailed traveling outfits because I've been in airports quite a lot lately. Okay so this is the base outfit. I've got a striped long sleeve on from H&M. I love to be warm on the airplane. Sometimes I find that the aircon can be so cold and in general, I get cold really easily. So I'll always bring a jumper with me or make sure I'm wearing a long sleeve. I love to wear cozy trousers. These are a linen blend and they're just so comfy. As you can see, they're wide, they're not tight. I absolutely would never wear jeans on a flight. I don't understand anyone who is able to wear jeans on a flight. Because although I love wearing jeans day to day, they're not comfortable for traveling in. And then I'll always wear trainers, either trainers or if it's a hot holiday, then maybe sandals and then I'll pack socks because otherwise your feet will be cold on the plane because of the air con. And this is just like really easy to throw on, but at the same time, I'm color coordinated. I'll always plan my travel outfit a few days before and know what I'm wearing. So then I have zero regrets on the day of travel. And tomorrow we need to get up at 5.15, leave here by six. So there is no time to decide on what I'm going to wear. I use a new tool to style my hair today. I use the Iris Multi Styler from Beauty Works. And honestly, like this volume volume I've got, I've never had volume like this before. I think I probably could have put a tiny bit more mousse in for it to hold its shape, but the volume, I love it. It's like a Dyson, but for a fraction of the price. So it's a really good alternative. I'll leave the link below in the description because 
I am honestly so impressed. And also I feel like it's left my hair looking really shiny as well. Anyway, back to the outfit. I've then popped on black bomber jacket. This is nice and cozy. It adds an extra layer of warmth. So I won't need a jumper because I've got this. Uh, saying that I might actually still bring a jumper, just like a light one in my hand carry. So I've got the black and then I've got the black and the white stripe, the beige trousers and the Adidas Sambas and all looks color coordinated sticking with the monochrome. For my hand carry, I usually bring a bigger bag than this because I always travel with my laptop. Even if I'm going on holiday or I'm going away for work, I always need to bring my laptop because there will be an element of work that I need to do. But we're only in Florence for a couple of days. So I'm contemplating leaving the laptop at home or putting my laptop in Ryan's bag and then I can get away with bringing this, but my laptop won't fit inside. This is my Loewe basket bag. It's the original Paula's Ibiza style. Much prefer this style to the new one. I've mentioned this before, but the new one for me, I've got it and I just think it's far too flimsy. Like it doesn't hold its shape and it just feels so fragile. Whereas this feels very sturdy. I can put lots in it and not be worried about it stretching or changing shape. So this I pretty sure is going to be the final look for the airport tomorrow morning and traveling. <laughs> From London this morning and got here around 1 p.m. We're actually staying at our wedding venue which is so nice. I've honestly been so 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 excited for this trip because we're going to be doing the tasting for our wedding and also it's just so lovely and amazing that we can come and stay at our venue before the wedding which is about two months time now. The sun is out today as well which is so nice. We're just going to go and get some pasta. Can't remember the last time I had pasta. And obviously pasta is the best in Italy. We're just going to go somewhere that's a 10 minute drive. Ryan is driving, which is interesting because we're driving on the other side of the road. So Ryan has to really concentrate. I don't know how he does it. I don't think I could do it. I just can't get over the fact that the next time we're here, we will be getting married and all of our friends and family are going to be here staying with us. Like I am so excited. It makes me so happy when we got here and we were chatting to the reception team and obviously they knew about the wedding. They were just getting me so, so excited. And I've been asking them so many questions. We we're actually really fortunate that we were able to visit again a few months before because now I'm asking lots of the small questions like what will be available in the rooms what sort of things might we bring if we do a welcome box so it's really helping me get organized and think of all those last minute bits that we need to do in the lead up to the wedding we just finally found somewhere to eat we were walking around for 15 20 minutes because everywhere is closed until 7 30 we haven't had lunch and it's way into the afternoon we finally found somewhere and i can't wait to eat this delicious salad we also have lots of bread and focaccia and then we'll get pasta later on because we couldn't find anywhere open that had pasta and we've both got it in our heads that we're going to have pasta today a huge craving for a big bowl of carbonara or we've just come back to the room to chill for a little bit and this is my outfit today i realized i hadn't shown you guys yet i'm wearing a white shirred dress from abercrombie abercrombie have honestly got the nicest dresses in 
at the moment. They always do for spring, summertime. Even if you're looking for dresses as a wedding guest, they have so many beautiful, colorful dresses. I thought this was quite bridal and fitting since we're doing a wedding activity weekend admin visit. I've just got little sandals on from Naked Fashion because I do like to wear a little sandal with my dress but still wanted to be comfortable and then paired it with my Loewe bag which I also traveled with and I think this goes quite nicely. It's giving spring, even summer vibes manifesting warmer weather in the UK and London too. Quite a nice day in Italy today. It's been sunny, a little bit of cloud, but tomorrow the weather is not supposed to be great. So we've been making the most of the weather today. One thing I like about Abercrombie dresses as well is that lots of them have pockets, which is just quite nice to have somewhere to put your hand or you could pop a lip gloss or lip balm in there and you probably wouldn't be able to see it. I just love a floaty, eerie, lightweight dress for summer. And I know it's not summer just yet, but this is totally spring appropriate as well, especially because it's quite long. And if you're going away in Europe anytime soon, the weather is probably going to be quite beautiful and sunny. So you can definitely bring out a sundress like this. I've just steamed my dress for tonight because I wanted to get a quick video in it for TikTok or Instagram while the sun is still out. Let me show you the evening outfit for tonight. This is the evening dress. This is also from Abercrombie. I did do a huge dress haul from Abercrombie because I wanted to try on the size and fit of different styles and colors. I'm not usually a color girl, but I feel like I need to start introducing a few more colors like light blue, yellow, rather than just neutrals all the time and spice it up a bit for summer. This is the dress. It's pleated. And it's like a satin silky material. I love this cutout detail. I think it has a really pretty shape and this little strappy design at the back, which I think is really nice. It comes in lots of different colors. This would be such a good wedding guest outfit, not in white, obviously. No one is allowed to wear white at a wedding except for the bride, but they have like a fuchsia pink, they have yellow, green, which would look so nice as a wedding guest outfit. But I thought this was quite fitting for tonight's date night. And I've got a little cardigan to keep me warm if it gets cooler. <laughs> have a look at the mise en place which is like the plate and the glass setup and they've just given us a glass of bubbly have you tried your bubbly ryan cheers exactly what we're eating because of course we want to keep it a surprise for our guests but I do want to show you guys a little sneak peek. Wow we just finished the food tasting and we are so full. <laughs> How many courses did we eat? Too many. So well, we many courses. Two of everything. I saw we had three, three dishes of because we were trying vegetarian options for our guests but the food was next level. Like no one is going to be hungry at this wedding. It felt so surreal trying all the food. And like the table sat up, it was so pretty, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. 
like their attention to detail as well and even like the presentation any brides to be or people who've already been married like having the wine tasting and the food tasting such a fun experience like i feel so excited for the wedding now and i feel like we're one step closer to getting more of the planning done and being in control and prepared for the day isn't it yeah for sure delish i'm so excited it is wednesday home from florence i wish i could have shared more from that trip with you guys but we were only there for 48 hours and among going to do the food tasting and the wine tasting and I didn't want to share too much because we want to keep it a surprise for our guests. And then also during the day, I was trying to get a campaign done for Abercrombie. So we were just trying to do quite a lot in the 48 hours that we were there, but it was such a magical trip. I just kept walking around thinking, I can't believe in two months time, all of our loved ones, our friends and family are going to be here to celebrate our wedding with us like i'm just so 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 excited i think i've already said that a few times while we were there anyway life right now just feels so chaotic i'm about to drive to the cotswolds i say about to i'm literally in my dressing gown need to pack my bag like you should see the state of my house like i don't know how people manage to have a full-time job or run a business look after kids i don't have the kids part yet maintain a house in terms of cleaning, doing the dishes, have a social life, go to the gym, keep up with your skincare. Honestly, it's a minefield out here right now. I think sometimes on social media, it can look like someone is living the perfect life, but behind the scenes, it's chaos or it's stress. I wouldn't say it's stress, I would say it's good stress. There's a lot of stuff going on. I'm really grateful for everything that's going on, but there is chaos. It might just look like everything is seamless and going so well, but I still have suitcases that I haven't unpacked from Switzerland. I need to sort my life out. I will come back and show you the outfit that I'm wearing to the Cotswolds. I'm going to the Cotswolds with Cordelie for an overnight staycation. It's like a spa staycation. Cordelie is one of my favorite skincare brands. It's just skincare that really works. I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'm really excited. Probably listen to a podcast on the way down as well and try to relax a little bit. This is my outfit of the day. I've got white trousers on from Abercrombie and Fitch. And then I've got this cute off the shoulder top from Zara. It's like a knit but sheer material, which I think is quite nice for spring and goes quite well with the white trousers as a chic, classy look. This would be really nice for a brunch or even date night. I really like this elegant cut and shape of this top. I've then got my Amazon belt on, which gives Hermes dupe vibes in the tan. And then I've gone for cream slingback heels. These ones are from Zara, but Mango and Zara have identical ones in at the moment. And then to tie in the tan back into the outfit with the belt, I've got my tan Demelia bag, which just fits so much in. I've got lots of snacks in there for the journey. And then I've got my perfume in there. I've got sunglasses. Just need to fill up my Stanley cup and then I'm ready to go. Looks like despite leaving half an hour later than I thought I was going to be, I'm still going to make it early as long as there's no traffic. So fingers crossed for me and I need to go and fill up the car as well. It's a chaotic morning. So this is the final outfit. I didn't want to be underdressed. I wanted to look put together and chic because personally I'd always be, I'd always prefer to be slightly overdressed than underdressed, but that's just me. And I thought this would be a great outfit to wear. Ooh, I also need to show you these gorgeous earrings. They're from by Anissa, a gold chunky jewelry. As you guys know, it's my fave, especially for 
earrings. And then I've got this gorgeous ring on from Carrot London. I also have a 10% discount code with them. So I will link that below in the description box. We have just checked in to the Time Hotel in the Cotswolds. The grounds around are so beautiful. I'm going to show you now. Here's a quick little tour of the room. It's very like countryside vibes. And then we are going to do cloud painting. It's very countryside Cotswold vibes. I've got my Katie Loxon hold all bag, which is so good for overnight stays and some gorgeous PJs, which I can't wait to wear. And look at this bath. I need to make sure that I make use of this. And we've got Cordelie in the clouds. You are radiant, love that. And lots of Cordelie products and some of my faves. This is one of my faves, such a good sun cream. It applies so seamlessly under makeup and always factor 50 for our face girlies. I don't want to be late for anyone, so let's go to the cloud painting straight away. It's so beautiful and serene. Let's see if I can remember my way back the way we came. This is actually the back of the house slash lodge that I'm staying in. my makeup off is there a better feeling than taking your makeup off and having a clean glowy face it just feels like my skin can breathe I only had light makeup on anyway but now my skin really feels like it can breathe I'm about to have a 30 minute facial trying out the new Caudalie Vino Perfect Mousse Micro Peeling Eclat it has mandelic peel inside and AHAs and grape water. Mandelic acid is one of the key ingredients I have in my facial, which I have four to six weeks, and I'm doing that ahead of the wedding. So I'm really intrigued about this product because I want to know if it's going to give me similar effects as my favorite facial that I have done in London. I usually go to Skinworks. I've actually just booked in to go there next week for my next facial. So I'm looking forward to a little facial and relax and to try out this new Caudalie launch. I'll let you guys know my first impression. <music> evening outfit. I've got a halter neck top on from Zara, really cute for spring, summer, date nights and evenings. And then I've got straight leg trousers on from Naked Fashion. I think these are just a bit smarter than the wide leg ones I had on earlier. And they've got this exaggerated pleat detail in the front. I've got white court heels. These are from Bershka. And then I've got my gorgeous white Demelia bag with the gold chain. And then I've got a white blazer on that I'm just going to pop on for warmth, but that's not really part of the outfit per se. And then I've got these gorgeous earrings on from Saru London. Pearl white just really goes with the rest of the look. And I'm ready to go for dinner. Better head off before I am late but really looking forward to food and chatting with all the girls. Good morning. It is Friday. My skin is looking so much clearer and less congested from using the micro peel mousse from Caudalie. Maybe it's the mandelic acid that they have in it. I'm actually going to get my favorite facial tonight as well because I was thinking about the timings of the facial and with the wedding being two months away I need to do it 
in the next week so that I can then get another facial in during that time because you have to make sure that you wait four to five weeks between each facial, especially if they include some sort of invasive treatment like using acids or microdermabrasion. So yeah, that's one thing that I'm going to do today. This jumper is such a cozy knit to throw on. I popped this on when I was running errands and I've just got a vest top underneath and then I've got black leggings on. <laughs> it's such a basic outfit, but you know when your head can't even compute what to wear and only running errands. It's just such a nice stripe. This is from Pretty Lavish, by the way. So I'll show you my outfit for dinner tonight. I'm meeting up with one of my friends, Andrea, and we're going to Pen Yen, a Japanese restaurant at Shoreditch House. It's one of my favorite restaurants in London. They have the most gorgeous food, the best miso black cod dish, which is probably what I'm going to eat. I'm going quite casual because plan of action is, I've got a reformer first, then I'm going to get the facial. Won't be able to put any makeup on afterwards, so I'm going to be quite um, plain and maybe a little bit more casual. Might put some earrings in so that my outfit is jazzed up a little bit and lip gloss. And then, yeah, so that's the plan. So my outfit is like kind of ish casual and it's really cold outside. So I'm going to wear a coat and I haven't worn a coat in the last few weeks. London, please bring spring, <laughs> bring some warmer weather for us. Okay, this is the look, minus my Apple Watch. My Apple Watch will be coming off for dinner. So H&M Bardo top, love this. It's from last year, but I'll try and find similar ones. It's like a thick rib knit. And then I've got on straight leg, well actually they're kind of flared jeans from River Island, they're mostly a straight leg. I absolutely love the fit of these jeans. They really cinch you in at the waist, especially with the addition of this belt as well. I haven't worn black jeans in such a long time, but they work really well for an evening or date night kind of look. Then my bag, I've got this really cute bag from Parissa Wang. It's like a cream ecru color, and I think it's super cute for spring summer and then I've got my camel coat but the coat won't be on in the restaurant. Pen Yen usually has a fireplace so hopefully that'll be on and that'll keep me nice and toasty. feel like it'll be a bit odd not wearing makeup going for dinner but I'm trying to embrace no makeup as much as possible because skin needs to breathe. I noticed such a difference in my skin when I have more days where I'm not wearing makeup every single day. It feels less congested, it looks clearer. We just need to have more no makeup days and absolutely no way I'm putting makeup on straight after the facial because they actually recommend that you don't put makeup on at least until the next day. So at least like 12 hours if you can, just to make sure that your skin gets all the benefits from the facial. I feel like these jeans make me look really tall as well because they're mega high-waisted, like so high-waisted. And then with these cute slingbacks on that just give me a little bit of height, I feel like I look way taller. For size, height reference, I'm only five foot three. I feel like I look quite tall in this outfit. And then this is my camel mango coat. It's like a virgin wool blend. One of my favorite coats ever, but it's just needed today because it's cold. My bones are hurting. Sorry, I keep moaning. Yeah, so I need a coat today. I need a coat and I just want to be nice and cozy. I really don't even feel like going out and doing all these things that I need to, but I know that when I go out, I will feel so much better for having done it. And I'm not canceling my reformer class. I'm not canceling my facial that I've been so looking forward to. And I'm definitely not canceling on my friend who I've also been really, really looking forward to catching up with. So this is me, a little monochrome with a bit of camel. And it's gonna be a great afternoon, guys. It's gonna be great. Good morning. It is 
Saturday. My skin is feeling quite tight actually from the facial at Skinworks yesterday, but that is usually what happens. The results actually don't show until about seven days later, or the results are the best seven days later. I've got a tiny bit of dryness. I think it's where I had the dry flaking skin, slightly more sensitive, but what happened last time, what will hopefully happen this time is that that just sort of like naturally flakes off in the evening and then the dry skin will be gone and my skin will be super smooth and glowy. I managed to book in another facial a couple of weeks before the wedding as well, allowing for enough rest time in between. So I'm so happy about that because it's a bit of Jenga trying to fit everything in but I'm glad I'll be able to get one more session in before the wedding so that my skin is at its best before the big day. It'll just make makeup application so much better and then all the pictures and things like that. Call me crazy, but I'm taking this wedding prep very seriously. I'm only going to be doing this one time in my life, I presume. <laughs> Today, I'm going to the dentist to get a wire fitted at the back of my teeth for Invisalign because I finished with my Invisalign but they do have to fit that wire so that the teeth don't move so I'm getting one on the top and the bottom and one or two fillings Ugh. and then I am gonna go to some of the shops and I've then booked myself in for reformer at 5 p.m. so kind of a backwards day because I'm working, pottering around the house this morning and then going into Central later on. But whenever I go into London, I always wanna make the most of the time there because it does take that little bit longer to get into Central now. I actually don't love going to London on the weekends so I feel like it's so much busier, but it's okay. I have a plan of action. Let me show you my outfit. Going for smart casual spring vibes today. I've got this oversized blazer on from Riona. It's a lovely buttery cream beige color. Hopefully the color shows well on camera because right now it looks very creamy, whereas it is a little bit more of a sand shade in person. Then I've got a vest top on from Massimo Dutti. I really like that it has this black piping. I think it just elevates the vest top a little bit. I've got my black Celine belt on and I've got my Sloan Abercrombie trousers on. These are such an amazing fit because as you can see, I'm wearing flat shoes and they are not touching the floor. Like they're not going to get dirty. And that's because I'm petite and these are in the size petite, the short length, and you can get them in a regular length if you're average height or you can get them in a tall length if you're slightly taller. And I just love that you can personalize the size that you get to make sure that they fit really well and you don't have to get them tailored. And I think they just look super smart. They're the tailored style and I really like this pleated style down the trousers, similar to my jeans yesterday. Even if your trousers don't have that piping style at the front, you can easily add it by the way that you iron them. And I do think that really elevates your trousers or your jeans when you add in that really nice straight shape at the front. It just helps to give them a little bit more structure. And my shoes, I've got two-tone ballet flats on. These are from Marks and Spencers, similar to the Chanel two-tone ballet pumps, but not the Chanel ones. Earrings, I've gone for plain gold ones from Monica Vinader. Chunky, but not too chunky. I'm going to rewear the same bag from yesterday, the Parissa Wang cream bag, just because all my stuff is inside, don't have to change it over, and I also think it works quite nicely with the outfit. I think this would be a nice workwear outfit for spring or going out for brunch or meetings in the city. I will definitely be re-wearing a combination like this. It's just an easy go-to spring outfit formula. A blazer, a cute tank top, tailored trousers, and then ballet flats or loafers. And you've got a smart, 
but also slightly laid back, smart outfit. 